I found your bolts. Wonderful. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Your husband was there, speaking ill of you. He ran off when he saw me. Oh my. That dirty, rotten bastard of a man would do something like that. At least you were able to come away with the only thing of value that remained there. Thank you, Connor.
Delicious, love. Connor, what brings you? I was passing by, and I thought I would stop in and see how you were faring. Well, that's nice of you. Well, my boy, we are faring very well. Between those who live here, the sailors coming and going from the pier, not to mention the travelers, our beds are always full and our taps are always flowing. I am pleased things have worked out for you here. As are we, Connor. I'd be lying if I told you we weren't worried when we were ousted from our old place. For the Lord works in mysterious ways. Gentlemen, you seem to be getting along. Oh, aye. We're just on our way to have an ale. <laughs> you may have noticed, I've got a bit of a temper problem. <laughs> oh, Diana's fine, the spuds are fine. We've got a good thing going on here. I'm just happy I didn't they hurt old Godfrey. Wouldn't they have been able to forgive myself? So am I, Terry. So grateful you didn't poke me with your tiny fists. Do they rile me up? All right, all right, take it easy. I am happy things are well again.
Remembering old times, Achilles? Connor. Oh, yes. I suppose I was. Seems like so long ago. Who was the assassin this belonged to? Originally, it was John de la Tours, the first assassin in the colonies. Then it was mine for a time. Ah, uh, the things I've done wearing that armor. Some are uplifting to recall, others very painful indeed. One day, I will hand it over to you, Connor. It is your duty to keep it. It serves as a reminder for how long our brotherhood has really been here. How long we've been protecting the people of this land. But here I am going on again. I know you appreciate what it is. What do you need, my friend? Captain's on a warpath for that deserter. What's his name? Big Man or some such thing? Big Dave. Did in a whole unit escaping, they say. Dave's in for a rough ride, seems to me.
Gunner. I have the tools you requested. Ah, excellent. I'll get right to work. Norris has been hanging around pestering me about his knife. <laughs> I thought you should know I overheard some regulars talking. They are looking for you. I imagine they are. I'll have to face them sometime or another. Horace, what are you doing out here? I want to give Miriam her knife. Maybe you come with me? Of course. What is keeping you? I am nervous. I am certain she will love the blade you made for her. What am I doing? Giving a woman a knife as a gift? It's so stupid. This is something she will appreciate and use. Ugh. I made the stupid thing. I might as well give it to her. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Norris. Hello, Connor. I'd love to stay and chat, but I promised Ellen a bale of furs this week, and I'm not even close to making good. I need to get out into the bush right away. Two hunters are better than one. I can help if you like. Would you? I'd be much obliged. I, uh, I bring something for you. Maybe, uh, it will help? I really must get moving. I will thank you properly when I get back. Until then... Meet me at my northernmost hunting blind after you take your first skin.
time for forgiveness has passed. Please don't kill me. I'll never come back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. right for me to come back. I see that now. Just let me go, and I'll stay away for good. If I hadn't had this blade, that lick spittle might have gutted me. A timely gift from Norris, it would seem. Indeed. I must make sure to thank him properly. Connor! 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 Alan Dullard of a man is trying to break down her door with his mates. We're on our way to stop it! and Maria are free of you. I say so. The people behind me say so. Believe me when I tell you, if I ever see you on this land again, I will end you. You can have them. Thank you. All of you. Nobody has ever stood up for us before. We protect our own, Ellen. This is my home now. I'll find a way to show my gratitude to you all. I promise.
got time to lend me a hand? My friend! Norris, what are you doing? She said yes! Marion? We are getting married! I told you not to touch him, Norris. Is it true? <laughs> yes! <laughs> so now that you've been told, might I have a word? We have much work to do. Of course, what would you have me do? Accompany me to the inn. I have business there. Norris is a stickler when it comes to tradition. Miriam knows not where her father is, and they were hopeful that you might act his part yourself. I am not familiar with the colonial wedding customs. It means you will walk with her during the ceremony and give her to Norris as her father. I would be honored. Wonderful. On to other business. Our weddings are complex beasts and require many hands working together to execute. We'll need Warren and Prudence to provide food. Ellen to make them appropriate clothes. Big Dave to smith wedding rings. Me to conduct the service. And Oliver and Corinne to host a banquet. That is a lot. We'll start here. Connor, everything seems to be in order for the big day. It is. Except, uh, I can't find Miriam. Uh, I am certain she is making sure all is perfect. I will find her, my friend.